Welcome to the Egger Museum. This year, we are collaborating with the Council of British Archaeology to celebrate the 2024 Festival of Archaeology online. At the museum, we have a range of artefacts that piece together the history of Egham and the surrounding area. This ranges from earrings to pottery and tools to coins. As part of my role here, we've been working hard to take artefacts out to the community in order to share our wonderful local story. This year's Festival of Archaeology theme is Archaeology in the Community. So let's take a look at how we do this. Our area continues to be a thriving community up until this very day. However, what many people don't know is how far back human activity in this area goes. Now, this item may look rather unsuspecting, but here at Egger Museum, we are actually incredibly lucky to have it in our collection. Surprisingly, this is actually the head of a hammer from the Upper Paleolithic era, which ranged from 50,000 to 10,000 BC. Despite being different from us in many ways, the inhabitants of this unrecognisable Egham would have shared one key feature, that of community. Now let's take a look at something a little later. Here we have a fragment of Samaean pottery. Now Samaean pottery would have been found on the Roman dinner table for special occasions and was produced across the empire, including here in Britain, with many fragments being found in Runnymede and Spellform. Samaean pottery is characterised by being highly decorated with attention to detail. This is a prime example of the ancient Romans' expression of their culture. While we know that the Romans had a developed settlement over in Staines named Pontes, the significance of any settlement by the Romans in Egham is disputed by historians. This is why Roman archaeological finds are so essential, as they tell us that despite any permanent settlement, we do know there was Roman activity and trade in the area. Recently, I had the chance to take several pieces of Roman pottery out to the community in a local school. The children were actually able to handle the artefacts and use their imaginations to see how it may have made a complete piece at one point. The rim of the item would have originally extended out and around, creating a full bowl. The Egham Museum covers a large area, including Egham Hythe, Englefield Green, Thorpe and Virginia Water, which means we have many items that help us share with the community our great local story. So let's have a look at some of those items which were not found in archaeological digs. So this here is a victory medal, and it would have been awarded to soldiers who fought in the First World War. What I find particularly interesting about this medal is the dates on the back. As you can see, it says 1914 to 1919, and you may be wondering why, as the First World War ended in 1918. This is because it was also awarded to soldiers who took part in the Allied intervention of the Russian Civil War. Now this here is actually the ID tag of James Broom, who served in the war from 1914 until March 1918, when he was wounded in France. James was awarded a 16-star medal and thus made him eligible for the Victory Medal. John Broom, James's father, ran a local butcher on the Egham High Street, not far from this museum. John and his wife Eliza had eight children who were all of fighting age at the outbreak of the First World War. This meant that the family were divided, something all too common at the time. However, rather uncommonly, the brothers and their parents were reunited at the end of the war. Earlier on in the year, I was given the opportunity to share this story with local school children, and they wrote a letter from the perspective of the Broom brothers. This meant that they could imagine the sacrifice it would have taken to leave their families and serve the country overseas. These items provide a physical link for the pupils all the way back to the Broom brothers. Just as our archaeological items bridge hundreds, sometimes thousands of years, and remind us of legacies of past communities with remnants that can still be found today.